Hi, today we're talking about photographing red deer. If you're lucky enough to live in certain parts of the country, perhaps down in Exmoor or up on the Hebrides on Rome and Jura, or you can get there, which is a bit difficult this year in 2020 with travel being a bit restricted, then it's nice to be photographing the truly wild deer. But for most of us, we're restricted to photographing deer in our deer parks. And we're very lucky in the UK, we've got a lot of deer parks spread across the country. Today, we're in my favourite from a photography point of view, which is Bradgate Park in Leicestershire. It's my favourite because it's very, very attractive. It's got rolling hills, rocky outcrops, lots of mature trees and large areas of bracken. So it's very good for red and fallow deer photography. My second favourite park would be Richmond Park in London. I also like Bushy Park as well, also in London. But uh, Richmond has some very attractive trees, but it tends to be on the flat side. Whereas Bradgate, the rolling hills help. If you're lucky, you can get the red deer standing on top of the rocky outcrops. So it's now the end of October. So the rut has more or less come to an end. The rut starts in late September, goes all the way through October into November but it will vary from year to year, the weather can affect it. If you get a lot of wet weather, then it tends to slow the rut down, um, but it is more or less over for this year. Probably the best period is the first two weeks in October. That's when you're gonna get the most action. So I'm gonna show you some footage that I've taken this year, and then some stills pictures, which I've taken on previous years. It's all taken in Bradgate, apart from a little clip towards the end, which I mentioned, which is in Bushy Park. It's easy to get the impression when you're watching a stag with a harem of females that he is trying to keep them all together. And if one female starts to wander off, you see the male trying to bring her back into the herd. But it doesn't really work that way. It's impossible for one male to keep an eye on all the females and keep them together by pushing them around. The females actually make the choice. They are the ones that decide to stay with the stag and the advantages for them are, first of all, they're going to mate with a prime stag, but also that that stag, being the, the dominant animal, is going to keep all the other males off the females, where they're going to be harassing them. But it's really the females can wander off whenever they will, and they do from time to time. In this particular instance, they all decided to wander off. Started slowly, one or two. The stream that runs along the length of the main path in Bradgate Park is another advantage. You've got an extra element of the deer quite frequently cross the stream. The male you can see there is not a fully mature male. He's just hanging around on the periphery. But now all the females come down to the stream and go across. And the dominant stag doesn't seem to have quite realised yet. This again is another immature male crossing the stream. This is the dominant stag. As well as having a bigger set of antlers, he's got a much shaggier mane on him as well. It's about six years of age before they're mature. So he's realised they've all disappeared. And thinks he better catch up. Red deer can advertise their strength and dominance by their rule. The deeper and louder the roar, the better. This is a young male, so he hasn't got the, the best roar. But it's interesting, the vapour comes out of the mouth when they roar, and often that's the picture to go for. When you're taking stills pictures, you want them backlit very early in the morning. You don't always get colourful light, so sometimes you're just doing them backlit against a grey sky. You don't need big lenses for these deer because they're very large in the first place and they're not difficult to get close to. A 300mm is more than adequate. So some stills pictures taken backlit, just black and white type images.
And then there's always the headshots too. The deer often go into the bracken and do a bit of roaring. And then they add a bit of decoration to those antlers. A very common sight to see. Here we have a, a male running around, he's got his harem. And here we have one that's chasing off another male. It's quite an immature male. So now we're shooting at 180 frames per second slow motion video. You have to manually focus and that's not very easy to do. You're having to pan the camera at the same time as focus. I did lose the focus towards the end as they started coming towards me. But you see it's an immature male that he's chasing. And a few stills pictures taken at slower shutter speeds for deliberate blur. This is a bit of play fighting now between two immature males. It's not the real thing. You don't actually see red deer fight all that often. But the whole process of mating is very exhausting and quite often the mature stags uh, sit down and have a, a good long rest. This was a, a genuine fight between two immature males. And here you can see the females on the right have lost all interest in the stag behind them. They've seen something else. It's the annual camera club rut. And the deer are fascinated by this. They gather and watch it every year during October. This was the best day for me this year. I went six times to Bradgate Park during October. And this was the best day because of the rain. It poured it down. It just adds that extra element to the picture. See the ground is saturated as well. If you're shooting stills pictures of the rain you want a slow shutter speed. About a 40th of a second is a good starting point. Helps to show the rain up. And working in slow motion video has the same effect. The rain becomes more visible. Behind here getting absolutely saturated as was the photographer. And then when the rain stops, you've got to dry yourself out. One of the things I really like about Bradgate Park is the rocky outcrops. And I can't say the red deer go and stand in the right place that often, but when they do, it does remind you of the Scottish Highlands. And backlit as well. So I said there was one final clip which was taken in Bushy Park in London and this is it. It was just an amusing clip of the red deer trying to eat the leaves off a willow tree. And this slightly younger deer here can't quite reach. So she has a bit of a, a strop about it. The older female and taller shows how it should be done. So one last go.
Nope, it's no good. Just gonna have to wait till it grows a bit. Thanks for watching.